<laughs> do you see, do you guys see how awesome these are? I got these on Etsy. I will put the link in the description box below, but they have, the seller has so many cool retro earrings and I want like 80 of them. So, <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I gotta, let me adjust this angle. Hello friends, how are we doing today? Welcome, welcome back. Guess what? We're gonna be talking about new makeup releases. Now I know I said this was going to be a weekly thing and it will be as much as possible. Last week I didn't get to it. Uh, I had a situation where the video and the audio didn't want to match up. It was a, you know, it's a race against time basically with these kind of videos. So I really just, I ran out of time trying to fix it. And so here we are now, we're going to go a little bit longer than the last edition of this. Anyways, hi, how are you doing? I am Jane. I am a fine artist who loves makeup. So if you love fine art and you love just artsy things and you love makeup, this is the place for you. So if that sounds like a good deal, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you know every time that I upload. So I just want to say that most of these are going to be coming from a Instagram called Makeup Release Radar and you should definitely follow them. And then of course Trend Mood and some of the other places. And I'll link all, all the, um, all the, li <laughs> all of the Instagram accounts in the box below. So let's go ahead and get started. And oh my goodness. Wow. So some of these are going to be major releases. A good portion of these are going to be indie releases though, because I do love indie makeup. That's where my heart lies. I have just recently discovered how amazing indie makeup is. So here we go. We're going to start out with a major company, Mac. Okay. So Mac has released their spring 2022 collection. It comes with three Glow Play blushes at $33 each, an extra dimension skin finish at $39.50, three Love Me lipsticks at $23. We got the Max Fix Plus in like a cherry blossom scent, I do believe. And then we've got the Prep and Prime Lip at $21 and the Brush Stroke Line at $2024. Or $2024, goodness, $24. Uh, you know, I've been kind of looking at this and this was something I was going to feature last week. I do know that the skin finish highlighters from MAC get really good reviews usually. Um, I have plenty of highlighters at this point, and in fact, I'm probably going to be doing a more of a low buy month and maybe even a low buy year. It just depends. And I know that sounds crazy because I just started doing makeup, but I trust me, I have plenty already. But if I were in the market for a new highlighter, I might try it out. I really am attracted to that bright fuchsia blush though. Do I have a fuchsia blush? No. Do I want one? Kind of. I've been really into this idea of brighter and more exotic blushes. Not that I want to look like a total clown, but if I do, I'm going to be happy about it, right? So <laughs> I had seen the Kaleidos, the new releases of the Kaleidos in the Smoky Nostalgia Collection, and I really, really want that sanguine one, but I really like this one too. So I might pick it up. I don't know. You know, 24 bucks is, that's a lot. Wait a minute. It's 33 That's a lot. <laughs> That's a lot, Mac. And, you know, I don't know. I guess it just depends on how much you want it. The thing is, is that I know Mac has been around forever and they're kind of a, some of the OG companies that were designed for makeup artists. And I still think that they hold true to that from what I can observe. I do, I love their Mac paint pot. I just don't really see a need for, and I like the Max Fix Plus too. Mac, Mac Fix Plus Prep and Prime. I like their lipsticks a lot. I'm just not, I don't know. I'm on the fence about it. I really don't know. I see a lot of their releases, especially last year. They came out with, uh, was it The Simpsons? I'm trying to take it. No, they came out with something funky last year that was really, really mediocre. I think this might be something different. I don't think it's just recycled colors with different packaging. It doesn't look like it at least. What do I know? I don't know. It's okay. I like the idea of the new scent of the Mac Fix Plus. I might, I might get that at some point, but the eyeliner looks fun too. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let's go ahead and move on. It looks like just as I was getting everything together for this video that Morphe releases release their Lucky Charms collection. It's going to be out on the 8th at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. 
It comes with the Make Some Magic Artistry palette with 18 shades. It's got some lip glosses, a marshmallow scent lip, lip gloss. It has Make Some Magic color pencil set, six shades. And then we've got a brush set and bag for $29. Um, you know, I'm not a huge fan of Morphe anymore. I wasn't really ever a huge fan. I did have some of their palettes and the only thing that I ever think came out of that, that you know, that brand that was good, like really good eyeshadow palette wise, was the Jaclyn Hill palettes, minus the vault. So <laughs> I really like the volume two of Jaclyn's palette. Um, I really don't see myself getting this. I know it's bright colors. You know I love bright colors, but I really am not a fan of their eyeshadow formula. I do have a little bit of an interest in those pencils, though. Those look like fun. I don't know. I've never tried to. Have they ever had eyeliner pencils before? I don't know. I have some of the brushes, and some of the brushes are pretty good. I can't really see what that lip gloss looks like, though. I don't know what. I don't know what that's about, but. I might get some of those eyeliners. They look like fun. Is that a whole set? Yeah, it's a whole set for $15. I might get that. That's nice. I mean, Morphe, at least they're trying something. At least with the packaging and everything, with these cereals and, you know, everything's everything's going towards these weird collaborations. You know, we had the Oscar Mayer... <laughs> The Oscar Mayer baloney face mask. We had, uh, what did they do last? They did Lucky Charms. No, not Lucky Charms. <laughs> they did, what was it, Sour Patch Kids? Yeah, they had Sour Patch Kids last time. That they did sort of a weird collaboration. I kind of like that. I kind of like the whole idea of cereal and makeup together. At least, I don't know, I think if they would just phase out of their 35 pan or whatever it is, I think that they could go in a better direction. I think if they improve their formula a little bit, I, I don't know if they have over the past few years. I had one eyeshadow palette from them last year, but I just don't reach for those 35 pan palettes. Like I think I'm going to, and whenever I do, it's usually Jaclyn Hill volume two, but I don't know. I probably won't get the eyeshadow palette, but yeah, the color pencil set looks good. It's like Natasha Denona is coming out with a pastel palette. Look, I have some mini palettes from her, and I do really enjoy her creamed powder formula, and I really, you know, I've been on that ledge of like almost getting some of the midi size ones that are like $65, and then, I don't know, I'll be like, but... I have shades kind of like that, and I know they're not in the, the Natasha Denona range, but I end up like talking myself down out of it because it is a lot of money. This looks like fun. I really like, the, oh wow, that bottom row is beautiful. The blue and the lime green and the pink. Ooh. Let's see, what is it called? Is it just the pastel eyeshadow palette? Okay. 15 shades with different finishes, spring shades from playful pink to yellow to delicate purple and blue. With creamy mattes, metallics, and a vibrant transparent multi-chrome. I like transparent multi-chromes. Ooh. That can be used alone or as a top coat. Coming to U.S. and other retailers. No specific date. Oh, wow. Okay. It's a low by month. I really like pastels, but I also like depth in my eyeshadows. You know, like I don't want it to fall flat. But with spring and summer, I tend to go through a phase where I'm just like, Give me the pastels, give me the pastels. This looks like an Easter egg basket. It looks like there's there's a stock photo here, or one of the photos, not a stock photo, a, a photo with a model. And it looks like she's wearing probably that transparent multigram as a highlighter. I, oh, <laughs> what do I do? Um, I think this is gonna be, it doesn't say if this is a midi size or if this is the original size, it's 129. If it's 129, I'm not gonna get it. If it's 65, I'd be tempted to, but I'm going to say there's going to be more releases that I'm going to want more. I think I might wait to see what other reviews come out and see what people say. I'm just on the fence. However, Beauty Bay has released three new eyeshadow palettes. They were released this past week, and there's... Okay, let me see if I can get this right. So I'm going to log into Beauty Bay. <laughs> I have the app. 
So the berries palettes, there's two sizes in that. There's a small nine pan palette and a 12 pan. And then with the earthy palette, there is a 12 pan and they're 42, which is the green and the neutral. And then midnight comes in a 12 pan and a 42 pan. You know, right away out the gate, I was just like, give me the midnight one, the big giant midnight one. But the more I look at it, I mean, I still want, there are shades in there that I want, but I have so many blue and so many purple eyeshadow palettes already. And it kind of feels redundant for me to get the small one though. I don't know. The earthy one, I might get, I don't know, I have shades like that too. I really like the berries palette and I have shades of those too, but you know what? It's really hard for me to turn down a berry palette. And then part of me just wants to go, just get all three. <laughs> As I just said, I'm on a low buy month, but Beauty Bay is cheap. Dang. I can't commit to what I'm going to tell you I'm going to buy, but it might be that big 42 palette. Bet you, I bet you, you know, I mean, there's, there's no need for more monochromatic palettes. Let's just be honest. But if you had all three of them, I bet you could come up with some very beautiful colors. I love the Beauty Bay Shimmer formula, and I do like their matte formula too, but you do have to kind of work like dark to light. Uh, but I might get them. I might get them. Okay. Moving on. <laughs> so this is something I have in front of me right now. This is the Sugar Drizzle Dragonfly Warrior Palette. Look at how pretty this is. It's just, it's a, such a unique color story, right? It is $31.95 before tax and all that good stuff. It is currently sold out, but they do restocks. So keep your eye out for this. And one of these, there's a couple of multi-chromes in here, I do believe. And I saw Annette from Annette's Makeup Corner do a look with this, and that's what sold me on the palette because I kind of looked at it and I was like, hmm, it's beautiful, it's different, well, what would I do with it? And then I saw she, her work her magic, and I was like, okay, I need, I need that palette. <laughs> so this is an indie brand, of course, and I actually have another palette that I'm going to be doing a review on too, so I will be doing a review on this and I will be doing a review on their butterfly palette. Look how pretty that is too. You can see I swatched some of the colors, but I'm ready to do some magic with these. So keep your eye out for that and keep your eye out for the restock if you are interested in it. And I do, let's see, there is a code that my friend at Makeup Release Radar has. It's called Radar 10. We'll get you 10% off. So there you go. Okay, everybody and their mother is complaining about this, so I'm going to gripe about it, too. <laughs> it is the release of Gwen Stefani's new makeup line called Give Beauty. Uh, it is, it's Gwen Stefani makeup. It's red lips and neutral eyeshadows, which I don't have a problem with the fact that it's neutral and classic red lipsticks. And first of all, there are several different kinds of red lipstick in the same shade. It is... There's a matte lipstick, high performance matte lipstick, long wear matte lipstick, and satin lipstick. All in the same shade, which is just red. And of course, her reds are a little bit, um, they lean more towards like a blue red, and so not orangey reds. So, yeah, it's confusing. And then we've got what I was really going to gripe about. We have a quad that is incredibly dull and dusty looking. It looks like something that I got at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> I was going to name the name, but I'm not going to name the name. But uh, yeah, it looks very dull. It says it's um, multi-dimensional. What's multi-dimensional about this? The names of them are pretty cringy too. Rich Girl, Simple Kind of Life, Danger Zone, and Just a Girl. There are some eyeliners gel eyeliners, matte black and metallic blue. The metallic blue looks fun, but again, they're expensive. I can get better eyeliners that are metallic blue from indie companies. I don't, you know, and sometimes indie companies are expensive too, but they're usually really good quality, but I am not paying $21 for a pencil eyeliner, period, ever in my life. That eyeliner better vacuum my house and do my dishes for that <laughs> kind of money. I'm just, I'm like, there are some things I will not spend that much money on. 
I might do it for an Urban Decay 24-7, but I know it has a good reputation. But still, I have never done that. I've never bought any of those. So, the, the main thing that gets me is the eyeshadow palette, because you all know I love eyeshadow palettes. It's basically what I do, is I love eyeshadows, you know. So, I just think that this is, for the price that they're asking, and the colors and the finishes, no. That's a no. Now, she expands on her own line and offers things for other people and other tastes because when you create a makeup line, you want to make something for everybody. And it might build on this. I don't know. But I understand that this is like her core launch. It's just incredibly underwhelming. <laughs> so that's that. That's all I have to say about that. ColourPop released their Darth Vader eyeshadow palette. And it's nine shades, four mattes, five shimmers. It looks like an ashtray with a stoplight in it. <laughs> when, like ColourPop was one of the first companies that I started buying like good palettes from. And then it became a more extended palette range into other companies. And But I have to say, that I have a large collection of ColourPop palettes. This palette does not appeal to me. There was a time when ColourPop could do no wrong, practically. This was 2018. <sighs> then they went through that big neutral phase and last year, and they had some hits and misses. And whenever they did their hits, they were really good. And that's still how they are. And I'm, I've heard that the quality of this palette is great. I'm just not into the color story. I am not the biggest Star Wars fan. I didn't catch on to Star Wars until I was like 23. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm 42. You should, coming out of the 80s, I should have been like a big Star Wars fan. It just didn't appeal to me um, until I got to be about 23 and I started dating a guy and... He was a big Star Wars fan. So that caught me. I, I got into it a little bit and I'm just kind of like, I get the, I get the nostalgia. I get it, but I don't know. I mean, I have the child palette and the Mandalorian palette and those two, uh, they grew on me. But at first, when they first came out, both of them, I was kind of like, mm, I don't know. And then the more I saw it, the more I liked it. I don't think that's going to be the case with this one. So, I don't understand why they, like, again, I've heard this from the creators. Why don't they have a black in there? It's Darth Vader. I will say that as a former graphic designer, I really appreciate the outer packaging. The artist did a fantastic job. I love the fact that his suit is actually shiny on the cover. But, yeah, it's a no for me. Physician's Formula, okay? I actually, I really like Physicians Formula. I don't care for their eyeshadows, but I really like, of course, their butter bronzer is lovely. And sometimes they, they do a decent highlight. However, we've got Let's Toast Highlighter, and we have this sort of like springtime picnic themed collection. They've got a bread and butter bronzer, a watermelon sugar lip gloss, and a strawberry jam blush. And oh my gosh, the strawberry jam blush. Look at the print. It's so cute. Let's see if I can get it. Oh, look at how cute that is. That reminds me of strawberry shortcake. Don't mind. I swatch things. <laughs> Don't mind me. And it is so cute. Oh my gosh. It reminds me of something like a doll Oh, well, strawberry shortcake, whenever I had, whenever I was little, and I, I almost don't want to dig into this because it's so cute, but it is limited edition, and I, I love it. I love it. I don't know if I will love the formula. We'll see. I will test it out in another video. It says it combines, it's, it, it's incredibly creamy, and soft texture combines the best features of a powder and a cream blush for a lit from within glow unlike any other. That's a tall glass, <laughs> Physician's Formula. I, I will hold you to it. <laughs> but it's in Walmart and at Ulta right now for $15.49 for the Let's Toast Highlighter. This I got at Walgreens, 
and they had a three dollar off coupon so so that's pretty cool okay so this is going to be a little rough looking but this is the get lucky palette from saints angels and sinners and I love this. Oh my gosh. It's up for pre-order and there are so many wonderful products up for pre-order right now by this company. So this is the Get Lucky palette. Okay. Just in time for St. Patty's Day. And it is, okay, you you can see that I've used it. I, I did some reels on Instagram with this palette and it is available for pre-order. And Saints Angel Sinners is a indie, indie brand. Okay. Duh. I have been sent some PR from them and I love this palette. It is like green golds and pinks and I love this orange shade right here too. Oof. I used it on my lid actually, like right around here. Let's just go ahead. Oh, look at that. Bitch. Oh, yeah, it is nice. <laughs> so there's so many beautiful shades in here. There's also, this one is not quite as new, but it is a bestseller. It is the Zodiac palette. It is basically a multi-chrome palette and some metallics, and it is beautiful. It has got some beautiful shades in here. Yeah, this one too. I used a little bit of this one too. It's almost the same, but this one's got a little bit more yellow in it than the other one. So pretty. Oh my gosh. And incredibly high quality. I'm not just saying that because I was sent PR. I was actually, this one was sent to me as PR. I bought this with my own money and I've got a couple more palettes by them. But this one retails for, I forgot. Um, let me look. So this one retails for $41, but you can get... 10% off with the code RADAR10 as well at checkout. And so I highly, highly recommend this brand. And they do restocks every once in a while. But, um, you know, it's a small brand. So she's an army of one. And I really want to show off how much I support her brand. And so you definitely know that you're getting quality with indie brands usually. So I highly, highly recommend it. I'm going to do an official review on this. And hopefully I can get it up before St. Patty's Day. But if not... I'm one person, I'm sorry, but I will definitely be giving you a review on this. And so we're going to go ahead and move on. There are some more things I wanted to talk about. So this is, this is an indie brand inspired by Beetlejuice. The recently Immortals eyeshadow palette it is in the shape of a coffin, as you can see, and it is so pretty. I love neons. I do. I grew up in the 80s. I can't help myself. I can't help myself at all. I'm really attracted to the idea that this is neon and then it's got these other grungier tones. Let's see, it is $42, only 50 palettes are available. <sighs> I said I was on a low buy. Uh, oh, that is so tempting. There's this beautiful metallic silver, there's a black. Uh, I want it, I want it, I want it. Oh. Help me, Jesus. <laughs> oh my God. Help me, Tom Cruise. Help me, Jesus. If you know, you know. Ricky Bobby. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to say I'm not going to get it because I can't promise that. It's going to be a low buy month. It's going to be a low buy month. If I don't end up getting it, if it sells out, that's okay. But I wanted to let you guys know it is out there. So... I figured I would bring balance into the universe after I griped about Gwen Stefani's brand in ColourPop. Last thing, I am actually really interested in trying these. These are a new lip liner collection called New Line Loud. It is transfer resistant, fade resistant, and smudge resistant from NYX Cosmetics. It is vegan long wear lip liner. $8 each, 18 shades, infused with a jojoba oil and vitamin E for smoother, never drying lips with a soft matte finish. Waterproof, creamy formula, transfer fade, and smudge resistant in 18 shades. Oh, it's at Ulta. Okay, so yeah. Wow. It's got quite a few different shades. They're obviously neutrals, and then there are some louder, more vibrant lips and darker. Everything from black to white, it looks like. Is that black? Yeah, it's called Evil Genius. That's funny. And there's white, too. You know, 
I wouldn't wear white lip liner alone, but if I had a really, really bright lipstick over it, I bet it would be pretty cool. Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself, but I will probably get at least one or two. Dude, MAC has another collection coming out. A Magnificent Moon. Okay, those highlighters look really good. There's an eyeshadow palette that looks completely boring AF. Waterproof liners. There's some lipsticks. Yeah, it looks pretty boring, but the highlighters look really awesome. I prefer highlighters that, for the most part, are usually duochrome or multi-chrome highlighters or something that really looks dynamic on the skin. That just is like punch you in the face powerful. But I don't think I'll get that. They look really pretty though. And I love, oh wow, I love the embossing on it. That's a really cool design. It says it's coming March on their websites and retailers. Cool, okay, well, there you go. So real quick, kind of a little bit of an overview of some of the things that I'm gonna be doing on the channel. There is, I just filmed this week, the, the Gila Odin's Eye and, and Yellow Canique Fist. Two looks, and then at the end of the month, I will give you my final thoughts. Look how beautiful this is, oh my gosh. And I'm gonna create another Instagram reel, so keep your eye out for that. I have the sugar crystal palettes that I talked about. I have the strawberry, strawberry jam blush, and then I also have this seltzer pop duo from ColourPop. One end is an eyeshadow stick, and the other end is, is an eyeliner. Keep your eye out on either Instagram or here for those. And I have some for art. I have, I'm working on the Tritone, and I might incorporate these that they sent me, Koei Noor Tritone pencils, and I'm looking to get that out very, very soon. I also have, what is it that I have? I had the Brutfoner, Brutfoner 50 Macron pencils. They are supposed to be a dupe for the Holbein pastels. I don't think they are going to be, in my opinion, because I have, it's hard to be Holbein, in my opinion. But we'll get there, we'll see how it is, and I'm gonna keep my eye, I have my, my eye open, my mind open, okay? Just because I know y'all are curious about what I'm gonna to to say about this. <laughs> that is it, thank you so much for hanging in there and talking makeup with me. Let me know in the comments below if there are any new releases that you're curious about or you are gonna get or not gonna get. What do you think about these releases? Sound off on the comments, in the comments below, and I will talk to you guys later, and have a safe and happy weekend. Okay, bye!